Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Paul Muadib of Fremen is victorious, uh, just as in the book and in the movie, he claims his victory by being the biggest bully and by telling everybody, all your spice belong to us. So let's look at, uh, at this short um, movie. Look at this land. Now, if it weren't for this kind of... Um, uh, game spawn if uh, for example riches was spawned on this continent they would they would split it between each other and uh, there would be no such one dominant force and uh, probably we could have continued on with the terraformation thing but they get, then again um, I guess at this map size it's standard it's not even a uh, bigger map size it's not very efficient well, at least the, the way I found it. Of course, you can play just a longer game. So he did manage to count, did manage to found another city fairly quickly. Uh, although no, it's it's at the point where all the others got their third one. So I guess he needed to build a thopter to ferry the settler over there. Yeah, even we found our city right after that. Okay. Muadib's wife and sister are having a bit of a cat fight all this game. Sightail was doing pretty good until he locked himself in conflict with orders. And then he just lagged. Yeah, Ixian, Ixian didn't even need to fight anybody. Just grabbed all this land. It's surprising how um, Elia didn't want to expand like over here. Yeah, her agenda was capturing cities on the North Pole. We were fairly far away from the Pole, by the way. Some of the sieves had their capital spawn a bit closer. The North Pole is actually an area that you want to grab very quickly unless you don't want conflict because everybody will then want to capture your cities. Most of the fighting uh, was happening over here and over here. Alright, there we go. Not even top in score. Ixian's lead by, a guy, I guess, uh, 1000 points. Okay, sorry, got a little distracted there. Okay. Yeah, these are the top cities. Sichtabar with so many wonders, of course, as top culture. Surprisingly, how an Ixian city without any wonders, and probably with the culture bomb, is third. Karina with the Imperial Palace, of course. Ixians are doing pretty good. So let's look at the wonders. Surprisingly, X with all their production bonuses and research, they only got three. Sandworkers Union is very good. It's very, very good. Some of the later improvements are very long to build. Like the final version of the groundwater well, the aqua bore is it's quite long. It's over 10 turns, I think, for a non-sped uh, up worker with either this wonder or serfdom. Took such a nice wonder. It's pretty cheap. If you get it in a city that's far away in the corner and it gets to trade actually. Because during this game we had problems uh, locking in trade routes with other sieves. And then we've we've run a civic that prohibits foreign trades. Which I think the um, the Lancerat resolution for open markets actually uh, lifts that, that kind of lockdown. Yeah, War Institute, very good, very strong. Not Probably not so much important for the Fremen because we're charismatic on the pole and uh, we level up units faster. So with Mahdi religion and with the barracks, we were able to get level 3 units everywhere and uh, close to level 5 from our dedicated unit building city. So yeah, just Lance Rod and the Imperial Holy Holy Shrine for uh, Carino. 
And yeah, but in it Lex, they were doing pretty good. All those wonders are early wonders. When they were ahead, I think they may have been ahead of Ixians for a while. Due to lots of spice around their landmass. And again, no pressure from barbs that Ixians had. And yeah, Hordas got, got one as well. Riches had the Firewater Tribute, but we captured it. So there's that. Alright, what are the graphs looking like? Everybody is keeping like on par. So how is gold doing? It's a very interesting dips. Are these, uh, I don't know, long revolutions maybe? Possibly. But there are no production dips. Yeah, Ixians fly away. They got mechanization before us, and of course, as a deity AI, they have a discount on building, um, on building construction. So they have all those nice um, hammer boosting buildings in their cities. Crop yield. Okay, that's that's interesting. If you know why these dips happen, quite a few of them for House Carino. I think that these may be, might be revolutions. All right, power wise, yeah, yeah. Well, you you don't need to have the highest score. Just be smart, be smart about how this game works. Culture, espionage. Okay, yeah, Bennett Lelex is a civilization that is uh, known for its assassins, so it'll have more than anybody else. Demographics, first in gold, second, they are pretty much second in anything with uh, in everything after X. I think Karina have a bigger land mass than we do, less pop, even fairing all that ice. Uh, pretty bad approval, <laughs> low life expectancy, I guess we'll lose too many troops. And worst in imports because we've had, um, I think because we've had... Um, Eric is paradise for a long time. He's built up bad relations with the others and we weren't trading as much as we could. And the stats. How interesting. They show promotions. Send riders. Gnas training. Yeah, interception for our uh, anti aircraft uh, rocket troopers. Alrighty. So. Who do we kill? Workers? <laughs> Gunships? Yeah, there wasn't too much fighting. Um, count chairs and orders were pretty, uh, were pretty undeveloped when we attacked them. It would have been a lot different should we, should we attack Ixians. Yeah, we didn't lose any, any major units. So why do we have such a low life expectancy? Buildings. Okay. Yeah, breeding projects. Such a strong thing. One day I'll show you. That's the Bene Gesserit Uber Wonder. Resources. Okay. Resources not that interesting. Alright, and what do we get? 120,000. Let's see how this compares to a few games I did off camera. Okay, it's the lowest score I got so far. Okay, yeah. All right, there we go. Now let's uh, let's have an after action report, shall we? So, um, uh, yeah, I had this plan to do a lore game with the register reformation, but then. Uh, I realize it's going to be such a long drag um, that I probably lose lose you into watching those uh, episodes. And this won't be, in my opinion, won't be very YouTube friendly. So we made a switch. Had we decided right away from the beginning to go with the Wrecked Spice, it would be a much faster game. Uh, we won't be building towns and cottages, aside from maybe the capital, uh, because this is where you put all your uh, main 
wonders and buildings to boost our search and and gold. So any over all the other cities would have had mirrors for production. You also add a little bit commerce as well. And uh, and uh, yeah, we'll be on better terms with everyone. Uh, we'd have more spice, more research, more everything. Um, also, special units to build spice. You call them carry all workers. So in Dune, uh, these are like flying factories that produce harvesters. So they're pretty gigantic. And the way they work spice is that they uh, fly over the desert and the reconnaissance, small reconnaissance planes, they spot uh, spice patches. Then they quickly deploy a spice harvester um, and stay there while, while waiting for sandworms because they come um, very quickly. And then they'll take the people away and they'll leave the, the spice harvester. Because the cost of the spice is a lot more than even the spice harvester, which is a pretty big and pretty advanced uh, piece of equipment. Yeah, this vacuum cleaner. Okay, so yeah, our research path was standard that you would use for a religious leader. It starts with faith. Sorry, mysticism. You would go faith and grab your great prophet. Settle him for five gold per turn. That helps you beat a maintenance from your second and third city. Uh, and your research path are obviously all the early tags. Um, yeah, definitely you want to have a good uh, settle. We started in an area with no immediate resources, but thanks to our send rider, uh, send rider uh, promotion on all the units, we scouted out this nice area with two we didn't see that first we just saw this one but it was better than nothing with two health resources which is so important in the early game and pretty much throughout the entire game so be gone and um, yeah then it's a matter initially it's a matter of growing and getting a research to get education um, so get your three CDs Find ore if you can, because it speeds up film book archives. We were lucky to have it. Now, yeah, smart workers built an outpost over here instead of a mine. Maybe it holds better against uh, sandstorms. Hmm. Um, yeah, if you have spice around your culture borders, uh, uh, research spice extraction, it speeds research a lot even if you don't work those tiles because spice gets sh gets shipped in the capital and converts look look how much we're getting we're getting here how much are we getting from the vessels by the way just 33 commerce yeah 70 commerce uh 62 of that commerce is coming from our spice so the tile now is that it no that's the yeah that's the capital that's the capital building uh, commerce so at all commerce yeah 144 500 beakers that's like two-thirds of uh, our research right so spice is important spice is important all right um, so yeah faith first uh, wind traps for growing your capital and then building settlers Mining for checking out the ore. Exploration for connecting resources over rock and graben. Defense tactics to combat uh, barbs. Spice extraction. And then all the way to education through Arrakis Habitation with nice clinics. Then, uh, then you work on things that improve your um, research, your commerce. So water economy... Uh, yeah, adapted agriculture, all lowers maintenance, that's lower of Arrakis, defense, and you gribbly make your way, obviously mentats, obviously off-world trade for safer juice on your mentats. Yeah, and then you get the drift. So, Fremen are not about late game. As you see, all those texts over here don't give us too much. Well, you need to look how these three... You see how this tree looks for Ixians, for example, because they'll have they'll have all sorts of crawlers in here. Uh, as Fremen, we are only able to build um, 
melee fighters like the Fedekin. Uh, the ultimate promotions for melee fighters are here at Prana Bindu Training. Uh, the Weirding Ways, they have no prerequisites. Very good on city attackers. Um, we can still build max uh, if we vassalize Ixians and get the Ixian resource, or if there are no Ixians in the game and we import it with a landing stage. We can build um, these crawlers. Uh, they will be okay, but you know, why do you need them? When you have your Fede Kin, right? Um, Cymax. Uh, Fremen, although they are religious, they can found thinking machines and um, <laughs> spread heresy. With thinking machines, you have this nice national unit, Cymac. And then, yeah, it's just artillery, uh, suspensor, uh, cruisers. This kind of unit, th there are no units that have um, innate bonus against suspensor, car uh, suspensor craft. Now, this is a carry in this case for uh, missiles, get over here, and for airplanes. With the missiles, uh, they can be shot down, and they are often shot down by rocket troopers and mongoose troopers. Um, so they're not that good, to be honest. So later game, with all the other civilizations that can build mechanical troops, you have scorpions, you have aircraft, and aircraft is how you whittle down stacks, unless the aircraft is shot down by, uh, by um, uh, rocket uh, troopers. So yeah, there's that. Uh, we will plan another game sometimes later. Um, I'm thinking about Bene Gesserit, but if you want to see another civilization, let me know. Uh, Bene Gesserit have such pronounced strengths and they can build all the um, all the units. Only problem is they cannot found thinking machines. So we're not going to get these awesome buildings. But they have a very strong melee line. They can train a mile stack, a hero unit. I think that's the only kind of hero in the game. And uh, they can improve their fighters even further with special, we don't have that in this tree, with special specialists. Okay, special specialists. All right, so I'm thinking about them. But yeah, we can obviously do Ixians. But for Ixians, you see, to make the most out of the game, you have to go late game. So it has to be a longer one. All right, so there we go. We had the victory. I hope you enjoyed the game. Um, thank you all for watching and for staying through these episodes. Uh, and uh, I'll meet you in another one.